Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about vital sex and tantric sex and the topic for this video is sexual respect. This is the, you know, the term that came to mind when I was trying to define exactly what are the set of boundaries and the mindsets, the values that we want to have when we engage into sex that are going to create a space which is a space of safety for everybody, everybody, everyone. And, uh, you know, sexual energy is powerful. And the moment you start activating your sexual energy or feeling your sexual desire, the idea is not to just liberate it and unleash it and let it do whatever it wants. No, the idea is sexual mastery. It means that as human beings, the goal is not to be enslaved by our animal nature. The goal is to be masters of our animal nature. This is how we evolve as human race. What we are doing is taming nature, taming our own nature. And taming doesn't mean <coughs> locking it and uh, limiting, limiting its freedom. No, taming means befriending. You know, imagine that you can ride this wild stallion through nature and that you are you know, riding in a way where the stallion feels free and directed at the same time. Imagine what happens when you're surfing the waves, you know, and you have these big waves crashing on the beach and you're surfing them and playing with this passion. That's what we are talking about. Generating beauty and ge generating awareness and consciousness, expansion of consciousness by the use of forces that are extremely powerful. You can use atomic energy to generate freedom or you can use it to destroy the world. You can use fire in the same way. You can use your own personal power to expand in consciousness and serve the planet or you can use it to abuse people and uh, limit their freedoms. So when it comes to sexual energy, here is a word of warning and a word of advice and I want to put in place in you right now very clear values. The things that I personally believe and that I think that you should be applying in your life as well. The core word is really respect. Every human being on this planet has the power for self-determination. This is a message for both men and women who think or believe that abusing another human being is okay. It is never okay. If you are trapped in any form of abusive behavior or pattern, stop, get some help, check it out. Don't use the sexual energy overflow that you have in your system as an excuse to abuse other human beings. There is a lot of trauma, a lot of abuse happening on this planet which is related with the misuse of sexual energy. Human beings forcing themselves on others sexually is not okay. It's never okay. So when we start tapping into tantric sex, we start tapping into a very important, essential source of power that has certain guidelines or certain values, certain ways of standing in life where we protect life forms all over the planet when we are talking about freeing your sexual energy, it doesn't mean stepping on other people's rights and freedoms. It never means abuse. It means respect. You use your gain power to protect life, not to abuse it or control it. You get that. I'm sure you do. If we look at what 
is the major source of trauma in people's lives. Think about it, how many people have been raped, traumatized, abused in their childhood. In the Western world, one out of four. If you have 10 friends, two of them have been probably sexually abused or you know, heavily emotionally abused. You look at the stats, it's dramatic and it's not okay. So when you become a Tantrika, when you start using these power and energies, you have to choose what kind of values you are standing for. Raping another human being is not okay. It's a crime. Don't ever think about going that way. Don't do it. When we think about healing traumas, you know, a friend of mine who is into the tantric field, in the beginning when she started, she thought that she was going to spend her time teaching people how to have better orgasms. What she's in fact dealing with is just dealing with people's traumas, traumatic experiences, helping them get comfortable with just physical touch. It's not cool, okay? It's, we need to stand together as human race and understand that when we talk about sexual mastery, it means exactly that. Using wisdom, using love, setting these core qualities in the core of your being and directing your actions accordingly. Somebody gives you a no thank you signal, you respect. You don't push, you don't demand, you don't get into needy patterns, you don't freak out, you don't emotionally abuse another human being because they are sexually rejecting you. It is their right. Respect a no thank you sign. Always. You want to work with these powers, you want to work with sexual liberation, that's what you need to understand. What I'm saying right now needs to be in the core foundations of your being. These are the core values that we need as a human race. I believe that we are ready to tap into higher levels of sexual energy, but we need to be very much aware of what the pitfalls are. Understand these boundaries and respect them. Never ever force another human being into a sexual experience that they don't want to have. Ask for permission. Check in. Don't just try to get away with your own personal sexual gratification. And this works for both men and women. Right now on the planetary level, I do believe that men tend to be way more sexually abusive than women. But women can also play that role a lot, okay? So if you are a woman and you submit any other human being to sexual pressure, to emotional threat, to love withdrawal, if they don't engage sexually with you, we are talking about the same crossing of boundaries, okay? So. This message is for both genders. But guys, okay, guys, if you are watching this video, make a commitment right now. I will never, ever sexually abuse the power that is given to me. The spirit will not work with you. The spirit will not follow you into this sexual exploration if you are not clear. If you show signs 
of sexual, emotional, abusive behaviors, the spirit will stop, it will not flow. Because we are here to protect human life, any form of life. We are here to enhance and empower the human race. So wake up and decide consciously to use this power that is given to you to empower human beings around you. Not to abuse them, control them, threaten them. None of these things are okay. I'm sure you get the message. If your actions and your values are already aligned with what I'm saying right now, great, well done. If not, take them in. Make them part of your being, part of your mind. Simple word, respect. Okay? I'm sure we're synchronized on that one.